How many of you guys would love to get paid for doing a Starbucks run? Well, stay tuned because in this video, I'm going to be talking about how you can turn your everyday errands into a tax deduction. I'm so excited that you landed on my channel. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified when a new video gets released every single week on family, finances, and business. In order to turn your everyday errands into a tax deduction, there are just a few key things that you need to make sure to do. So first of all, you need to make sure that you have a business. Now I know that's probably seems pretty common sense, but the reality is you may have a business. You may be selling purses, selling oils. Maybe you make handcrafted blankets for people. Whatever your business is, there's a difference between actually running a business versus running a hobby. So that is a key thing in being able to write off your mileage on your tax return so that you get an even bigger tax refund. So you really need to make sure that you're following the rules to make sure that you are operating as a business and not a hobby. You can check out some videos in the description below where I talk more in depth about how to do that, but I just want you to know it is crazy important because if you're not doing that, then all of a sudden these everyday errands are just personal errands and we can't take advantage of it and get you paid for doing things like picking up your kids from school or getting paid for getting your groceries from the grocery store, things like that. All right. So the second thing is that you need to find a way to turn your everyday errands into having an actual business purpose. So what I mean by that is if you want to go to Starbucks and pick up a coffee, you can't just go there and say, all right, this is a tax deduction. You have to actually have a business reason for being there. So you can be creative with this. If Starbucks has really great Wi-Fi, they have a good, fast internet connection, then it's possible that something you need to do with your business that day needs to take advantage of that faster internet speed. So you need to go to Starbucks to utilize it. Or if you want to go out to eat with a friend, if they've been a past customer of yours, you can set up that luncheon to be able to just check in with them and say, hey, how are those products going? Do you have any questions with it? That all of a sudden turns that meal into a business purpose. Going to the grocery store, you can pick up envelopes to be able to send receipts to customers. You can head to the city and go to the mall to pick up clothes for your kids. But while you're there, look at some things for a business presentation. Maybe you're going and doing a home party and you want to have something nice for that. Be creative and get that business purpose because once you have that, then you can turn these trips into a business expense, mileage that you need to be tracking. So let me know in the comments, what are some errands that you could turn into having a business purpose when you're doing them? Now, the next thing that we need to talk about is that it's really important when you're figuring out this business purpose, you need to actually plan it in advance. That is key. And a lot of people don't realize that. They think that if they go out to eat and all of a sudden they just happen to bring up, oh, you know what? We talked about my business. I can turn that into a business expense. Well, technically you can't do that. You have to be premeditated with this business purpose. So if you want to say that mileage heading to the restaurant is a business purpose as a tax write-off, then you have to make sure that you had that business that business reason set up ahead of time. It doesn't take very long at all, just a few seconds of your time to get that planned out, jot it down on your calendar so that you're, you have a way to track it and document that this was planned out in advance and you're good to go. While we're talking about documentation, it's really important that you document five things. This is key in how to track mileage for taxes. You have to have these five pieces of information in order for your mileage to be counted as a tax deduction. So you need to have, first and foremost, the vehicle that you used to do the traveling. And then you need to have the date of the trip. You also need to be documenting the destination. So actually put out the address, the full address of where you're heading to. I always include the beginning address as as well. That way you have proof of your starting point, your ending point, and then after that trip is over, your return trip. So get all of those things documented down. You also need to make sure that you have the total miles driven and the business purpose. Because remember, if you don't have a business purpose, then you cannot write off this mileage. So that's why it's important that you actually document that down when you're tracking your mileage. Now, if you want to learn how to document these five things in an actual spreadsheet, 
It is so, so easy. Make sure to check out the link in the description for that video where I will be talking about how to actually put those pieces of information into an Excel spreadsheet so that it is super, super easy for you to keep track of. The last thing we're talking about today is how to actually track the mileage for your taxes. So there's a lot of different tools that you can use. You can use a spreadsheet, which is my personal favorite, or you can use just a pen and paper. Keep a notebook in your vehicle and a pen, and you can just jot down every single time that you have done some mileage for business. You can also use an app. So there's a few different apps that are talked about a lot for tracking mileage. There is Stride Drive, Mile IQ, Trip Log, and mileage expense log. Those are all super easy apps that you can use. But again, you don't have to. I just stick with Excel and it's super, super easy. And the last tool that I think is a must is to use Google Maps. So tracking your mileage using Google Maps. And the reason why that's so great is because this way you don't have to be writing down your odometer reading every time that you do a business trip. You just grab that beginning address, your ending address, plug it into Google Maps and it'll tell you the exact mileage mileage that you used in that business trip. And you can document that down right in your spreadsheet or in your app, whatever you are using. So now that you know how to turn your everyday errands into a tax deduction, what about how to turn your everyday expenses into a tax deduction? Well, for that, I put together a free guide that is just a cheat sheet of around 70 different expenses that you could be using to count as a business tax deduction. You can grab the link for that free guide in the description below. But I also wanted to really share with you that there is a super, super amazing challenge that's going on right now called the 21 Day Mom Fog Challenge. And the reason why this is so perfect for women, who, for moms who are entrepreneurs, is that you know that time management and productivity are like key when it comes to running a successful business. But sometimes we can struggle with that. Also, when it comes to mom brain, I don't really need to see it, say anything more, but that is a real thing, guys. So this 21 day mom fog challenge will actually go through, help you get over the mom brain, clear out the mom fog, and be more productive, way better with your time management skills. It is crazy good. So if you wanna join me in that challenge and go through it with me, we'll walk hand in hand. I'll be your personal coach as you're going through it. And you can just grab the link in the description below. So if you found this video helpful, please make sure to let me know by liking it, leaving a comment, share it with a friend that would find it helpful, and subscribe so that you don't miss another upcoming video.